Okay, so you know what's really cool about hunting in your own backyard? You get to take a practice shot before you go out. <laughs> Which sometimes is a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing, because if you shoot really, really bad on your practice shot, you worry about it the entire time you're out in the woods. Like I'm gonna do. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm not gonna be worrying very much. That that looks pretty damn good. I'm excited. So I'm kind of excited, but I'm not excited because we're gonna have a weird night tonight that uh, it's gonna rain. So I'm running something a little bit different on my bow right now. I am running a string tracker. Uh, this is one that I built. I'll show you guys a little bit better when I get up in the tree stand and get it set up. And obviously I got a light and then a string tracker, so. Here's my shot. Yeah, feeling pretty good, other than the heat, so. All right, I'm gonna quit my yapping, because I guarantee there's a deer at my stand right now, and I don't feel like spooking them, because they chase everything the hell out of the whole area. So, cheese. <laughs> Alright, so here's my baby right here. See this little tiny little string? It goes all the way back and it goes back to my string tracker. That I built this whole thing out of leather and I used a Selway uh, quick attach mount to get it onto my bow so I could take it on and off easy. Now this thing's got about a half a mile of 17 pound test string in it right now. And when I shoot a pig, if it starts raining, I'm not going to freak out because I can follow the string as long as the arrow stays in the animal or if I have a pass through to be two strings because arrow will stay here, pig goes and it just keeps pulling through the through the inside of the animal. But yeah, it works and it works well. I shot a pig last year with it and it was just awesome. So yeah, there we go. I'm hot. I'm so hot. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't want to do filming. I just want to sit in the tree stand. I'm tired of this. Bah, 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 bah. I have to tell you guys everything that's going on. I don't want to tell you. Just watch. Watch how those pigs are going to come in. I'm going to shoot a pig. Ooh, feeder's going off. Good timing. Like ringing the dinner bell. I'm only on an acre and a quarter is my whole property. And like my house still takes up half of the property. So this little tiny parcel in the back, I just lure the pigs right in with corn. But they're smart here. They're not stupid animals. Which is a real bummer. I like the dumb ones. And I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm going. Goodbye. Leave me alone. You're not my friend.
Okay, in case you haven't been able to figure out after that big yes dance, I'm all freaked out. I mean, I took the shot, I heard a thwack, but the problem is out here that the thwack means either I hit something or I hit the dirt, and it sounded like dirt, and I'm like, what the hell? But the string is going, and I'm like, yes, the string is going, the string is going, so we're good. But then when I turn my light on, I'm like, my arrow's right there, and the string's not moving. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? But when I got down, arrow was covered in blood, strings covered in blood, so we had a pass through, and it stuck into a stump. So, yes! Oh, I'm really hoping for an easy recovery. I used the string tracker specifically because this place is so thick that tracking is hell. So I'm hoping he doesn't break that string, which could happen, but either way, if the string breaks, at least I have you know, call it 20 yards or 30 yards of following string before it breaks or something like that. So it's an easy leg up, but hopefully it's gonna be an easy recovery. Please, 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 please. All right, I'm gonna pack up all my gear. I'm gonna run back to the house, which is right over there. And uh, I'm gonna check the footage and see what I can see. And then I'm gonna come out and proceed to track. So, uh, wish me luck, wish me luck, please. So there's my arrow. And let's start following the string. Seems to go this way. Oh yeah, good blood. Oh, had to go through the thick stuff, huh? Always in the thick stuff. Oh yeah, look at the blood. It's hard to see with this infrared. You know what, let me switch it off infrared for you guys for a minute. There we go. So, here's my string. Can I see how thick this stuff is? That's why I'm using the string tracker. Guess what we just found? <laughs> Finally, look at this. Oh, you can barely see in a different light. There we go. There's my pig. I tell you what, we are inside of some of the thickest, nastiest stuff ever. Let's get this girl out and uh, we'll go from there. So bear with me for a couple minutes. <laughs> it's pretty rough out here. Uh.